Hello everyone and welcome back to channel 2 of VRML. Today we are bringing you a lovely double header. First match we have Sin versus the Scarlet Snarlers and second we're following Sin again as they go to face Fireballs. I'm joined by the amazing co-caster, hi I'm Big Jerry and on cams is Newton Dad and Jerry how are you feeling about this match? Uh, yeah I'm feeling good, I feel both teams, uh, I think they're kind of similar skill levels I'm excited to see what both teams put into this game certainly will be good and uh sin it's really interesting to see teams doing a double header in this tournament we don't see it often but certainly it will be good action for us as we get one ready up from uh sin here just waiting for scarlet snarlers now to ready up this will certainly be a good match and uh i hope you guys are looking forward to it there was quite a lot of upvotes on sin versus scarlet snarlers i think it was 11 to win but sin 29 votes to six to win uh, on the connoisseur votes there that is quite a big difference but we'll see if Snarlers can defy the odds. Uh, yeah, we certainly will. Um, <coughs> as we see, <coughs> just teams are sitting in the private right now. We're waiting for both teams already up. Uh, looks like uh, Sin, uh, Scarlet Snarlers is one person down, so we're just waiting for them to join. And then we'll get this started. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Kieran in the chat, nice to see you here. Bingus get cast when? Uh, I don't think Bingus is playing today. He's one of the uh, Scarlet Snarlers players, for those who don't know. But um, uh, certainly Snarlers are getting casted today. This will be a good match. And uh, Kieran saying in chat, uh, Jerry, be more loud. But as we see, we go into the first joust here. Both teams, this is a big moment for them, really. We need to see this first joust, and both teams need to really look to win this to get the first points on this board as both teams go towards this disc here and we see it sent straight towards the half of the snarlers but babajor receiving it sending it down to the left bouncing around the tunnel but ultimately going through as it goes towards the top of the roof there tj in it there just on it as he walks towards the bubble there moving back a little bit he is just going to hold the disc for as long as possible waiting for the passing options to open up duking around a little bit as he passes it over to the left Maybe a bit preemptive though, Babajor managing to read the bounce there as he tries to walk it up, sending it up high, but just missed on the receive there. Okay, yeah, we see both teams floating towards the disc now. It looks like West is going to get a bounce off to Mango Man. He takes possession. It looks like he's going to go for the half court, and he makes it a lovely shot from West at 32 metres out. <clears throat> Absolutely amazing shot there. And it wasn't too slow either, 15 metres per second. That really gives them an advantage at the start here. As we see Scarlet Snarlers put onto the joust advantage here. And uh, it'd be interesting to see what they do with it. As they just, both teams ready up here. Sin probably going for the quick stacks here as they go towards the disc. We see TJ in it on the QB, sending it down to the right. Just bounces back off that geometry though. As Babajor scrambles towards the disc, stunning West. Goes for the clear, but it rebounds back. Maybe just a bit tense here as West goes for the slap boards. And then the shot in, lovely three pointer from random. Very nice precision there. Uh, yeah, some nice passing and a few mistakes from Scarlet Snarlers allowed uh, allowed Sin to pass it around them and just get the three-pointer. Very nice shot. And so, we have in chat, uh, what rank are these teams? Uh, this is a gold-diamond game. Oh, uh, a very nice look. intercept from Lord of War there. They're making a nice three-pointer at 20 metres out. Very quick goal from Sin there, as making it 9-0. That is certainly a very big lead for two minutes in that is very nice as we just see snarlers put on the joust advantage again here they need to change what they're doing with these qbs here uh just change up their tactics because i think sin will be very quick to predict this they send it down left here young Beatty just walking up with it a little bit going for the pass up but lovely interception by jack knife he's just walking it through the tunnel Passing it up there, Lord of War just missed a little bit, but the back stack is on that, random. Grabbing it there, walking up. He has an open pass on his right there, he executes it perfectly, Lord of War. Holding onto it, maybe for a little bit too long as he's stunned. Lovely pass though, goes for the shot just a bit wide. Goes back to Jack Knife, Jack Knife duking around there, going towards the goal. Passes it down to the floor, West moving up, dinging it there, but sends it to random and random puts it in for the two. Some very nice passing there from Sin all around the bubble, just getting it straight past Scarlet Snarlers and getting the goal. A very nice shot from West. And once again, 11 0 to uh, Sin and Scarlet Snarlers on the Joust advantage again. Yes, we just see Scarlet Snarlers going for this here. Beatty grabbing it this time instead, sending it low. A dribbling play here, but lovely intercept and read by Lord of War. Stunned though as the stack just manages to get back. Young Beatty trying to slap, just missing the disc though. 
They managed to get it on the second one. Baba Jaw walking up. Going for the boop shot, maybe, but just too far right. It bounced off that wedge. Him managing to receive it back. Going for the a three-pointer, maybe, or a pass, but it goes wide of both. Lovely snap from Jack Knives. It goes back towards the Snarlous half. And a pass up to Nest here. Unfortunately, getting stunned by Jack Knife. And missing it. Okay, TJ receiving on the floor now. Passing across the floor to cross the boot. Baba Jaw going to float it up. Go for the shot, but it's going to be intercepted by West. Nice is going to be floating with it here. He's going to clear it down. A nice interception from TJ there as he walks up, goes for the shot, and a nice save from Lord of War and clears it down to the floor. Bouncing around here, it looks like Snarlitz has possession. <clears throat> they're going to pick it up and they're going to flow and going to pass it across the nugget. Unfortunately, going to miss though into the hands of Random and he's going to clear it down to the mid. Oh, a very close shot and it's going to bounce off their tunnel. It's going to float down. To the Dorito, Bubba Jaw is going to be floating towards it. Unfortunately, the Sin stack is going to get there first. Jack Knife in possession, going to floating for a bit, passing it down to Random, who passes it uh, to no one, it seems. An unlucky shot. Uh, Young Rater going to take possession then and going to float it around, try and juke it around <clears throat> and clears it through the tunnel. Yeah, as we see it, just back into Sin's half here as it goes towards the bubble. Snarlers are back on this as they go for the two. Tight angle there for Domango, but just making it not far out. But quite nice precision there as they just send it in for the two first points on the board. This could be a nice start for them. <clears throat> yeah, uh, the comeback may be on as we see for the first time Sin has Joust advantage. Let's see what they're going to do with it. <clears throat> okay, so they're going to come out and then he's going to float it down. And a nice stun from Baba Jory. He's going to take possession now. <clears throat> he's going to be sitting with it, looking behind him. He's going to be floating it up. And he's going to make the three pointer and a nice shot from Baba Jory at 12 meters out. Oh, Baba Jaw, absolutely amazing goal there. Just seeing the opportunity, and he is not wasting any time. He knows he's down at the moment. He really needs to get those points. And uh, people in the chat just saying absolutely random stuff. I'm not sure what's happening in there. And OVR, Woodsy Hart, thank you for that. But we see uh, Sin going for the joust advantage here. Jackknife doing something different this time, staying up high where he can see the stacks. Sending it over to the right. Lord of War then sending it back over left. Bounces down, though, as it is just thrust away from all of Sin's players into the hands of Baba Jaw. And he is just going to walk it up. He knows he has a little bit of time now. Only six points behind. Going for the boop shot, maybe, but just a bit far to the right as it goes into the hands of Beatty. Beatty just taking their time. They know they don't need to rush yet as they send it to the backboard. Backboard, but intercepted by Random. Lovely intercept. And lovely re-intercept by Domango, sending it in for a two-point. And that was a lovely chain of interceptions. But Snarlers coming out on top. Yeah, yeah. Some great interceptions there from Scarlet Snarlers. And can we see the comeback from 2 11? And again, send with the Joust advantage. Let's see what they do. <clears throat> okay, so Jack Knives is going to stay up high again. He's going to sit on the bottom. He's going to jig it around and pass to the right tunnel. <clears throat> and he's going to pass it across tunnel again to West. So he's going to clear it up top, going for the. Oh, pass up to the ceiling. Random's going to get stunned though and into the hands of Baba Jaw. Baba Jaw's. Floating it up as it seems. Stops a nice shoot from Abadjur and he clears it down and a nice stun. And it's going to go down. Just floating around now. Both teams trying to get to it. <laughs> Looks like Young Beatty's going to get the uh, interception here and pass to Babajor up to Nest. Oh, Babajor doing it. Sitting on the ceiling. Stun. Nice stun. And he's just going to get it around the goalie and into the net for a nice two pointer. Yeah, so we saw Scarlet Snarlers 11 points down, not having scored a goal. And now it's 11 9. Sin just have not been able to get a foothold in these last couple of minutes. And uh, as people are chatting, is saying in chat, Snarlers, maybe a comeback here, as we see Sin on the joust advantage. Again, Jack Knife staying up high. Again, going towards the left now, he's open. The stack is stunned there. And the back stack from uh, Snarlers seems to be stunned right at the back there, as he sends it over right to Lord of War. Lord of War, gonna juke down a little bit, but pass it back. Some nice one-two plays, just missed a little bit. A uh, bit of faltering there lets the stun come out there as it's just a lovely clear from Baba Jor, I think. Uh, just intercepted though, West always there. Lovely pass to Random, Random up left but missed on the receive there as uh, it goes into the hands of Baba Jor. Baba Jor looking for that clear, sending it a bit high though. A nice stack there from uh, Scarlet Snarlers to get possession there. Unfortunately, they're going to botch the clear slightly and giving it to Sin again. <clears throat> it would seem that, okay, they clear it down off the trap onto the ceiling but their stack is waiting as they take possession they clear it down going for a nice dribble here a nice dribble just gonna uh, intercept it again and they're gonna pass it down to Bubba Jaw and he's just gonna float it up again 
No, he's sitting on the boot. He jukes it round and he goes for the stun. Unfortunately, missing though. It's going to be bouncing on the floor, taken into possession and cleared. But back into the hands of Tito, who's ready for the clear. And he puts it into the hand of Bubba Jewel, but it's unfortunately going to get intercepted. <clears throat> and they clear it all the way down. Let's see a nice little stack race for the disc here. He's going to beat it. And it looks like Sin. Unfortunately, they just missed it, allowing Skull. It's nice to get it. You clear it down, just bouncing off the bow tie though. <clears throat> and it's floating around into the hands of Jack Knife. He's passing it back to random. Passing it up to the shoulder at West. That's what's going to do. Pass to the backboard. Lord of War takes it. And a nice shot from the backboard. Some great passing around the bubble there from Sin. Uh, I mean, certainly that was an interesting play there. Sin, there first on the disc. But just, it shows that precision of the stack is a lot more important than the speed. But ultimately, they managed to salvage it back. A lovely reset in there. And just got them the goal. As we see Snarlas on the joust advantage. Not much time now. Beatty getting it. Sending it down to the left now. As they know they need to put... Uh, some real work in here to get this back because they only have a minute left and they are four points behind. That is two goals. There's no way around that. It sends it up high. Lovely grab by West, but Beatty managing to get their hands on it. Walking it in. Lovely pass down low. And going in for the goal. There's only two points in it here. 50 seconds. Scarlet Snarlers do have a chance for the comeback, but it is a very close game here as we go into this joust advantage. Yeah, true. Uh, I believe we've got a pause here. I'm not sure what that, that's about, but it seems both teams are actually very similar matched. <clears throat> Only two points, as you said, with 40 seconds left. I'm really curious to see if Scarlet Snarts can bring this back. And um, I think we have a disconnect from Jack Knife here, as this is a technical timeout. Uh, we will just wait for Sin to get back in. But uh, chat, how's your day been? Uh, everyone had a good day? Uh, currently where I am, it is very sunny, but also absolutely freezing. Uh, and William says, so Beardsley, what is your favorite type of wood? And for people who don't know, uh, hi, I'm Big Jerry's nickname on our team is Beardsley. So, Jerry, what's your favorite type of wood? Ooh, I'm not sure here. I think I'm going to have to go with birch. I, I think it's got a really nice color to it, you know. Birch wood, fair enough. And uh, bird boy, I'm tired. <laughs> well, uh, I hope you uh, don't feel too tired and you can continue watching this amazing game because it is very close at the moment. No, William and Kieran saying Team Blade in the chat. I don't know what uh, I I don't know what they mean, but um, Rizzy, now what about you, Woodsy? Uh, I'm I'm having a good day. And uh, Wood, uh, hmm, I don't I don't know what type of wood I like. <laughs> Woodsy, you excited? Are you excited for the caves and cliffs update? Very much, William. Thank you. <laughs> are you excited for that, Jerry? Oh, I I'm ecstatic for it. <laughs> I'm just, I, it's so exciting. Very nice. And uh, Tiggs is sent in the chat. He's looking forward to it very much. So I see, see we have a lot of Minecraft fans in the uh, chat here. As the chat is just being absolutely spammed by people. It's good to see everyone enthusiastic for this match as we do just wait for the pause to stop. Rizzo says, just say Dark Oak. Okay, fair enough. I like Dark Oak the most. Weird potato <laughs> thing. Woodsy, I like your casting. Thank you very much. Uh, and William, Woodsy, do you think that Dav will make a comeback in 2021? Definitely not. I hope not. <laughs> I certainly hope not. Uh, as we do just see Jack Knife is back here now. Uh, so I reckon we'll get an unpause here. It's just 43 seconds left. Do you think the Snarlers still have a chance? Uh, yeah, I think it's very much possible. Unfortunately, Sin has Joust advantage, so they could just waste time. And Scarlet Snarlers would have to be very offensive to bring this back. And so one thing I might add is from an Echo VR stream, I was not expecting so much Minecraft conversation. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, Domango Man in chat, you're meant to be playing the match, Domango. Why are you sat here in the chat? <laughs> but we see Sin here on the joust advantage. There is just 30 seconds left for Snarlers to get this goal in here. As both teams go towards the disc. Jack Knife grabbing it, sending it right. They aren't wasting the time like you thought they would, but Lord of War, actually, maybe they are. He just, the absolute curse. I said it and he did it. Lord of War sending it down, but intercepted there by Baba Jaw. Maybe going for the bounce shot off the roof, but just a bit far right as both teams are going towards this here. Sin do have a stack formed as they manage to get the disc, but the clear goes a bit wide, hitting that block going towards the left. It's still in their half. A long three-pointer could finish it here, but I think that's just the clear from Sin. He sends it around their half, not clearing, but... um. That will tie the, uh, that will finish the game, and that is that is round one to sin. That is that was a very nice game. We saw Snarlers go 11 0 down without scoring a single goal, I believe it was, and then come back to 13 11. That was very nice from Scarlet Snarlers. And um, 
the birdie ball in the car stay. It happens all the time. Uh, I say something and then they do the opposite. It's always what happens. But what do you think of that round? Oh, it was very close. You know, when I say saw Sin pull ahead by so much, I really wasn't expecting Scarlet Snides to be able to pull it back that close. And I think with just a little bit of extra time, Scarlet Snides could have gotten that dub or OT. Yeah, maybe maybe Sin uh, got a bit confident in the mid, kind of the mid round because um we just saw them concede so many goals and not really be on the offense. I think they might have got. Maybe a little bit confident. An 11 0 lead can do that to someone. You can get a little bit confident, a little bit complacent. But uh, Sin certainly not letting go of it fully as they managed to clutch that last round and keep it 11, uh, 13 11. Sorry. And, um, we do see this team for at least three more rounds today. So uh, I hope they're not tired yet. And uh, still, people go to chat. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, I, I have to say, I was not expecting it to be this close. As uh, Sin being a diamond team and Scarlet Snarls only being a gold, I thought it would be a bit more in Sin's favour, but it looks like it's a very close match. And as we go for the joust here, it's going to be in the middle. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so, both teams come stacking out. Uh, it looks like Scarlet Snarls is going to win the joust, going to be bouncing around the orange half. Uh, going to be put in the hands of Baba Jaw. Everyone else is going to move into passing position, going to pass it to the cross of the shoulder and into the hands of Beatty. And a nice two pointer very quickly, 11 seconds in. Young Beatty not wasting any time there, and Scarlet Snarlers as a whole getting that headbutt. Lovely read and received by Baba Jaw, and just some passing plays there. It's nice to see uh, using this teamwork out here just to put Sin on the joust advantage here. Straight at the start of this round, so we see Jack Knife getting this disc, holding it, sending it left. So he's pressured by this Scarlet Snarlers stack now, but we seem to have found their mojo here as they're just moving a lot faster. But random, one on one here, really, but goes for the pass rather than the walk in as he's pressured slightly by the person from behind. Lovely slap there over to Lord of War at the middle geo. Lord of War ducking there as he walks to a one on one. Maybe goes for the bounce shot of the pass, but just a bit wide. Uh, no receiver there as it's sent back towards the Sin half. Tries to go for the slap clear there, just a bit wide. Random managing to get on the receive. Random sending up maybe for the three pointer or the pass, but West not in view there as he goes back towards the disc on the floor. Jack Knife, though, getting there first with that lovely stack, passing it over to Random. Random bounce shot, but just missed wide. Sin can just not hit their shots here as that pass goes wide again from West. And um, Sin have just seemed to have lost it here. They cannot make any of their passes or shots. Uh, yeah, and um, some unlucky passes and shots from Sin, allowing Scarlet Snipers to take possession and clear it down to their half. But Jack Knife's going to receive it, though. He's going to be floating it down. Passing to the stack in the middle. Uh, they're going to try and clear it, but the stack gets stunned, allowing TJ to pick it up. He clears it down, just getting the pass, but unlucky stun from Jack Knife. Uh, he's still being leashed. Stack just going to hold the disc here. They're going to clear it left, but it's going to bounce back, allowing Scarlet Snipers to take possession once again. TJ and it's going to float it along the floor. He's going to pass up to Pac Man, unfortunately missing it, putting it in the hands of Lord of War, who's going to be stolen by Wes. He clears it down the right tunnel, but it's going to bounce back again into the hands of the Mangaman. He gets a slap, a nice interception from West. He clears it down mid for an actual clear that went all the way through. And a nice stack from Sin to put it into the goal. There we go. We see the power of the stack there as Sin, just the pure speed, getting through to that half first and just sending it into the goal. No pressure from Scarlet Snarlers was possible because they just weren't fast enough to get back there. Maybe a couple of missed re-grabs. Maybe a couple of missed pulls, but we see them put back on the joust advantage here. The game is even, a lot different to two minutes in last match when they were, what, 11, 11 nil down? Maybe it was seven, but they were certainly down quite a lot. It's Jack Knives getting the disc here, sending it up towards Random. Random just in the mid here, going for the pass over to left. Missed by the receiver, though, and lucky bounce down there. Sent back to Lord of War. Lord of War sending it to the floor. West now walking up, going for the lovely shot and a lovely three-pointer from the floor. That is a very hard angle to hit, but this man is precise. Yeah, a very nice shot there from West. Straight into the left pocket. I guess the goalie wasn't ex expecting him to make the shot from there. <clears throat> okay, 5-2 and Scarlet Stars with the just advantage. They're unfortunately going to miss their stack. They're going to take possession anyway. They're going to clear it down to the mid in the hands of Baba Jaw. They're going to float up. She's going to juke it around and clear it all the way down. A nice stack from Scarlet Snides, but unfortunately, Sin's going to get there first. He's going to clear it down the right tunnel. It's going to bounce back once again in the hands of TJ, who has someone and picks it off him. 
<clears throat> and it's going to be down to Scarlet Snarl's side, just going to be floating around their half. Oh, the nice stack and stun from Sin. It's going to take possession for now. With some pressure, going to pass it up, unfortunately missing it. It's going to be floating around the bubble into the hands of Young Beatty. He's going to hold it and clear it down to the left, but it's going to bounce down. It's going to bounce down into the trap, into the Lord of War's hands. Lord of War's going to take it to the floor. He's going to hold it. He's going to pass it to the Double Diamond at West. <laughs> Let's see what West can do with it. Yeah, as he sends it over to the right here, Lord of War grabbing it. And I see in chat some people rapping using the chat feature. Interesting there. But Jack Knife getting it here, passing it back. Random, just a missed shot there as it's sent slightly wide. Rize and Kieran still going at it in chat with this unknown piece, Piers Morgan, uh, in the chat. But passed it back there to West. And uh, Sin really just playing for possession here, I think. Um, Lord of War sending it over right to Random. Random, sending it up. Just another missed shot there. As it goes wide again, Sin really trying to play for possession here, open up these opportunities, but just a couple of missed ones. As West, lovely interception, pass it over to Lord of War. Just missed again there as the disc is sent back into uh, uncontested territory. Uh, Babadol managing to get his hands on it, slapping it down as it's sent towards the middle. And now both teams going towards this once again. Uh, yeah, we see it's floating around the trap. Round's going to get it, but a stun from the young Beatty stack is going to clear it down the right tunnel. Ooh, into the hands of Wes, who's going to pick it up and he's going to hold it, he's going to wait for the push, he's pushing back a bit to Jack Knife, he's going to be waiting for the push and he's going to pass it to Random, he's at the wall at the Pac-Man now, he's going to pass it across to Jack Knife, it's a nice passing from Sin here, he's going to pass it back up to Ra Random and a nice shot assist by Jack Knife. Yeah, I'm the legend in chat. Uh, what is this chat? I have no clue at this point, they are just doing whatever they want in there. And now Williams response a fun chat. That is a nice response there. But we see Snarlers on the joust advantage here, maybe slipping a little bit under the pressure. As uh, we just see them go out towards the disc here. The stack seems to have hit that barrier once again, just feeling the pressure a little bit as they s step to the right there. Lovely step. Baba Jaw walking up now. Perhaps going for the shot, but just a bit high as the Snarlers stack gets on that bounce. Sends it in for a two, but just dinging it again. They cannot hit their shots here. Beatty going for the back pass, but it is missed as Baba Jaw is stunned. Uh, Baba Jaw though, stacking towards that disc, getting the receive. Goes for a pass maybe, but just missed as it bounces off of that block. Domango Man, floating back towards it, tries to slap it, but hitting there. Lord of War, predicting that bounce. Maybe going for a bounce shot off the roof. Oh, it just dings. So close there as he grabs it again, goes towards the goal, looking for this two, and just sends it in for a lovely two. He did not give up. That determination from him was absolutely amazing. Just always going for that disc. Yeah, the constant pushing from Lord of War there allowed him to take possession and score it. And a lot of good stuns from Sin messing up the Scarlet Snarl's pass. Okay, 9-2. It looks like Sin's starting to pull away a little bit. Scarlet Snarl's at the Joust advantage. Just going to take it. Didn't hit that barrier this time, but they're going to get stunned. He's going to headbutt it down towards the trench, allowing the Mango Man stack to pick it up. And they're going to dribble it down, but unfortunately going to be intercepted by Jack Knive, who's going to send it down again. Unfortunately missing the interception there, young Beatty. Random's going to pick it up, but it gets stunned, hits against the wall, into the hands of West. West is going to pass it <clears throat> pass it to Lord of War, who's going to pass it to Jack Knife. Unfortunately, Jack Knife's going to miss it, though, allowing young Beatty to take possession. He's going to clear it down the right time. It's going to bounce off the popcorn, though, into the trap. Let's see who can win the race. Looks like Baba Jaw can. He's going to send it all the way down. Um, nice interception and read from Lord of War. He's going to hold it on their cloud. I guess he's going to wait for the push. <clears throat> passing it down to Random. Who's passing it up to Jack Knife. Unfortunate receive there again from Jack Knife. Random going to take it again. Back to Jack Knife again. Unfortunately, another bad receive from Jack Knife. <clears throat> he's going to clear it towards uh, the Dorito, but it's going to bounce off. Wes is going to pick this up with some pressure. Going to get stunned out, though. And when I want to get another stun from Random, he's going to send up to Lord of War. Lord of War is going to lose it. He's going to get stunned again. Uh, looks like it's floating down towards their trench with West. A nice slap from him. Unfortunate receive from Random. Like Babbage to pick it up. And they're going to clear it down mid. Scarlet Snarl is really looking for the points here. Seven down, two minutes remaining. They need to scramble for this disc now if they want to get this lead back. Lovely pass over there to the right. Received there by Beatty. Beatty looking to walk this in. Lovely pass back over to Baba Jaw, and Baba Jaw sending it in for the two pointer. They've clearly heard what I'm saying. They are stepping up their game here. A lovely passing play there. Very precise, and it just puts Sin back on this joust advantage here. As um, I reckon we'll see Jack Knives getting Jack Knife getting this disc again, but uh, probably offensive for Sin here. Uh, they'll probably play quite quickly, or uh, or maybe not. They're just going to play it slowly as he sends it up top. 
Sin really just looking to waste the time here, I reckon. They don't want to give Snarls a chance to get this back. And if they can just hold for possession, that would be perfect for them. As Beatty goes for the clear. Babajor receiving. Maybe going for the shot, but just a bit wide. As he bounces it down. Received there by TJ in it. TJ in it. Going for the pass to Domango Man. Domango Man. Not managing to receive it straight, so walks it back a bit. Lovely pass there to Beatty. Beatty walking it in for the two. And that leaves Snarls three points behind for the OT. With just a minute remaining. This is a very tense game, just like last one. Snarla seemed to have brought it back here as we just descent into this last minute. Yeah, as you see Sin here, only three point difference with 45 seconds or so left. I'm curious if the same thing will happen this last round or if they can bring it back. They're going to waste time as much as they can here with the stack being offensive for Scarlet Snarlers. It's going to be passing it between each other. Brandon is going to, yeah, just passing back. Oh, straight into the hands of Young Beatty, but a nice stun from to each other. And Babajor is going to take possession, going to try to juke it around and clears it down off the station into the wall. Uh, West is going to take possession here. <clears throat> Looks like they're just trying to keep possession, looking for the pass. He's going to pass it up to a nice interception from TJ. He's going to clear it down to the trench. And they're going to receive it again. TJ in it. A uh, nice stun, though, from Sin. He's going to clear it down. It's going to bounce up to the Pac-Man. It looks like it's just going to be a race to the disc here. Wes is going to slap it down, just wasting as much time as possible. Not a lot of time left, but I believe that is game for Sin. Yes, we just see Sin take that round. That is a 2-0 for Sin. Unlucky for Scarlet Snarlers. They certainly put up a fight in both of these rounds. They did not give up. They were down in both of them, specifically the first round. An 11 nil lead from Sin. And Scarlet Snarlers brought it back to 13-11. Then this one, 9-6 at the end. Some very close rounds, only one goal in it for taking it to overtime, but just unlucky there. A Sin managed to take it. Lovely game from Sin, lovely game from both teams in general. And uh, it was very nice to see, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I believe we will just take a, uh, a quick commercial break here as uh, we just wait for the next team to get here, as we will follow Sin in again into Sin versus Fireballs for this next round. Everest was newly formed in season three. How did this team come together? We were, I started sort of start from scratch uh, again, I suppose, kind of my thing after each season <laughs> to have to start from scratch. I guess it's a, it's, it's a fun experience every time to try to sort of grab as good of a team as you can get at that point in time. But I think it was uh, start out with me and Elmo. I guess that's how most teams are formed. It's like two people and then you sort of start to branch out and see what, what sort of, what can you get to, to complement your team. We got Elmo, which is um, it's a Rift player from, I think, a year back or something. I think he started back in preseason, I think. Uh, I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's relatively experienced um, and played in like the whole, I think, the whole DRMO thing. And then Conrad, uh, who is, I think, yeah, he's, he's the only player actually playing on the quest, but he's uh, a quest player from from start. And then uh, we start out with Wee Laddie, who was also a quest player, um, but figured the, the sort of discrepancy, the age difference was a bit too much um, there. So we, we decided to switch him up for, for Steffo, who also had been playing with Elmo. But yeah, so, so that's that's another thing that I've, I've, I've noticed that it's like, it's the same thing with uh, my previous team, the Alpha Ducks. It's easy to get, like, if you can get a pair of players that already familiar with each other um, especially if they are doing a stack if they're like front strikers or something then uh, it, it's a lot faster to to make them sort of work in, in the team if they already have a good regrab understanding with each other so we've, we've had this lineup since like right before the first challenge cup or something so like six weeks or something what preparation did you do as a team and personally for this challenger cup 
Um, I think it's the same thing as we did for the last Challenge Cup, which is I try to find um, matches, like the most recent matches of of the teams we're playing, and I try to look at the playstyle, and most most notably, I look at the rollouts because I mean we're we're kind of known for that, and it's kind of how we're always been doing things. Is like we're kind of obsessed with the rollouts and trying to sort of find a weakness in the rollout or try to try to choose sort of i mean we have our set of rollouts that we do but sometimes um, i look at whatever they are doing and then maybe let's say okay let's focus on these rollouts against this team because they are sort of man marking a lot or they're they're doing this and that right so so yeah i go i go through the, um, the videos i can find the matches that are most recent and try to see um how they are running their rollouts and try to sort of write up do a small write-up for for the team where i say okay this is like if, if they focus on stacking for example then i'm gonna go and do a little bit more brawling and if if they're they're passing more then i tell my teammates to try to man mark them a little better and stuff like that so yeah that's about it before the cup started, who were you most concerned about as an opponent? And did any team or player surprise you? I would say we were probably most concerned about Clockwork um, because they have, they were a new form team, but all the play, we know all the players are good. Like they're strong players individually. So, and still in this game, it's, you can basically take, if you take good players and throw them into a team, then that's gonna be a pretty strong team, like right off the bat. That's that's sort of the, the team that we were most concerned about, definitely. And I would say also we were a bit worried about Exploited because they replaced Galti with Sir Dominic, which which was in my team last season and was still like to my to my knowledge, in my opinion, one of the most underrated like players in Europe. Still. Especially like solo stuff, like yeah, just sort of the ability to come into a situation and come out winning, um, even though you you were in a really sticky spot like so yeah it was, it was def definitely like concerned about that for sure um other other than that i think that the teams we we played the other teams um quite a lot so we kind of knew what they were capable of so yeah your team went undefeated throughout this challenger cup was there ever a point you thought that your team might lose actually like actually in the very first game because like we Coming into the the Challenger Cup, I think we we expected to to win against one team, and we were sort of thinking we would probably also win two matches. But then, I think winning three matches, I think we were like, okay, that's that's the probably the best possible outcome. That's that's going to be you know, winning three matches. So that's like that that would be a win basically. I think because I also thought that it was be it was going to be very even. So I think I thought even losing two matches would still maybe give us a chance to advance but yeah and and the, we we still like even the first match we we had to struggle a little bit like the it wasn't easy uh by any means so i think right there right then and there it's like i was like still like okay yeah this is this is gonna turn out as i thought like we might win this one but we probably won't win more than two two matches like max three You've already played your first match in the Master Tier. How are you feeling about your second matchup in the Master Tier this weekend? Uh, I'm feeling good about it. Um, I think it, uh, we have a good chance of winning that one, I would say. Um, it's hard to tell. Like, Quackheads is one of those teams that's like, yeah, the, the most amount of players that have sort of stuck together for a long time. It's, like, it's been years. So they're definitely, they, they are very, very well gelled together as a team so yeah and they're also they're also very strong on the on the brawling um and have a very very good goalkeeper so have to watch out for that Shadow 
Get this explosive Joker offense, getting the stop is Swag War, so we'll deny that opening start, and they'll get the boost down court. They will be at ceiling, they'll find possession, and they'll take this shot in the law, putting three of nice quick passes here, sending it up to the top. Lovely pass there, passing it back. Uh, legit now holding it. Stun's there, lovely stun. Oh, lo sending that one cross, gonna be ahead of its target, but pursuing it will be Team Gravity. Viatrex now down to the floor. Does this angle exist? And it does, that pass to Lowrider. Viatrex Jones has improved over their current games. His stacks are out, both stacks are getting really close as a blue team flubs their Matches average Jones puts it in for two. Taco wow. pick not taking any time. A lot of stuns coming through now at the floor will be picked up and set back towards that bubble. Looking above the goal and the slap from Acorn will finish that one off. Getting the grab on that will be Ghost Duck and trying to get that dribble through mid. It will be picked up by Ryra. Ryra sending that pass forward. This is a chance. And Ghost Duck put the save, denying that. It's shut down by this defense. This defense is gonna find that clear through. Now they're on offense. Now they're gonna take this shot. And Ollie, we talk about Ollie, and Ollie does it right around. Yeah, as you said, Mad was not looking at the cut passes. He was expecting a shot there. As Mad with the long shot off the backboard, not gonna get oh, saved oh, by it. Oh, 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 oh. As that's gonna bounce off the crossbar. Yeah, nice move by Citizen, but not quite able to finish. Elusive uh, picks it up. Zucks hanging out on the shield, but to the backside. Jake to Hello and welcome back. We are here again with Sin, this time versus the Fireballs, and we are hoping to bring some more intense action to you this evening or this morning, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Uh, hopefully this will be an amazing game for you. And once again, I'm joined by the amazing co-caster, Hi, I'm Big Jerry. And on camera, we have Newton Dad here for you to bring you this amazing match. And uh, Hi, I'm Big Jerry. How are you feeling about this one? Uh, I'm feeling good. Well, based on how close the last game was, I'm really excited to see... Uh, what Sin can do next, and what uh, Fireballs can do. I've never actually seen this team before. I'm excited to see their potential and what they can do. Yeah, Fireballs are currently above Scarlet Snarlers on the leaderboards. They are 24th and Snarlers were 26. Uh, the uh, Connoisseur vote is actually favouring Fireballs on this one, 4-2. to two. Uh, Yeah, 4-2. to two. <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I mean... Uh, we weren't expecting the Snarls match to be as close considering it was gold versus diamond, so if the connoisseur votes are favouring Fibles, I'm really excited to see how this match plays out. <clears throat> it certainly would be interesting, as we just um, see a dropout here from Sin, maybe having some problems. They were bringing a sub in uh, as a random dropped out from after the last game. Maybe having some problems on that front, but it doesn't matter. Any new people in the chat? Pr Pyro Games UK saying, come on Fibles. Uh, fair enough. Potato thing is back now, uh, and hopefully we will see two ready ups here. Uh, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Just waiting up for we're just waiting for the ready from Sin. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, Pyro Games UK in in the chat saying Fireball is a new team, new players to Echo. So yeah, I'm surprising how high they are in the leaderboards already. I'm excited to see how well they play as a team, and uh, and the game's gonna start now. It seems. 12 seconds left. Show off the middle and let's see what happens. Yes, yeah, so we just see both teams going towards the joust advantage here. Fireballs have had 34 games this season. That is quite a lot at this point. So um, we'll see how it goes. But both teams going towards the disc here. And that will just be Sin getting it. Not by much though, as it is relatively near this mid. Both stacks onto this. Lord of War maybe going for that shot and lovely three point to start it. Eight seconds is all this man needs to get his first goal. And it is a lovely, precise shot from him. Yeah, a very quick first goal from Sin, giving, pro giving them probably a little bit of confidence in this match. As uh, we see, Fireball's on the uh, Japs advantage here. Let's see what they do. Okay. So it looks like Tom's going to pick up the disc, going to clear it uh, down, to pass it down to the ball. Clearing it down past the Pac-Man. He's going to pass it across. Some nice passing here from Fireball's. <clears throat> and they're going to pass it across to VR. Oh, he's going to get stunned, though. Going to be sending it to the floor. Jack Knives going to be raced, but it's going to get stunned, allowing... Uh, Fireballs to take possession, crossing it to the boot. Uh, he's going to be floating up. He's going to go for the shot. Well, unfortunately, the sun wasn't there in time. Clears it down through mid. It's going to be bouncing around the middle now in the tunnel. Let's see who can pick this disc up first. Uh, looks like it's going to be Fireballs. 
I was gonna duke it around a bit, pass it to the double diamond. It's gonna be in possession, and he's gonna be sending it down. Oh, he's gonna be looking for the pass. Gonna pass it to the shield. I'm just gonna bounce off. Unfortunate slap there, and he's gonna get stunned. So this gets just sent over to the left here, bouncing around a little bit. Neither team needs, seems to be on this. Maybe some stack stunning and stuff. And uh, but VR Zajada, I don't know how to say their name very well, but they got it first. Comic sending it back over right to VR. VR just holding onto it, duping around a little bit, but lovely quick pass off to Grashus. Grashus sending it forwards, but just bounces there off that shield. Uh, Freshy just getting it, sending it over left. Lovely pass there and just finished by VR in there. Lovely quick speed on that pass and lovely finish there, saying taking no time at all. Uh, yeah, some great passing there from Fireballs. Considering they're a new team, I think they're playing very well. Uh, now we see uh, Sin with the jazz advantage. Let's see what they'll do. Jackknife may pick it again. Uh, yeah, he's going to take it. He's going to be sitting on the nest. going to go under. He's going to pass it to the right station to the Lord of War. He's going to send it through mid to protect thing. He's just going to miss it, unfortunately. He's going to be floating it freshly. He's going to slap it down to their side. He's going to be bouncing up. Ooh, cross, but going to be picked up by VR. He's going to make the go for the three and make it. Very nice shot. That was certainly a very nice shot there. I've been in, told in chat it's Zeda, Z A A Z A I, and then D A is how you pronounce it. So I will certainly try that, but I might just stick to VR for now, just so I don't uh, annoy anyone there. But uh, we see Sin on the just advantage here. Jack Knife getting it still. Uh, certainly know what works for them here. Uh, sending it over to West there. Imply relatively the same tactics as last time. So we see the pass back over here to Lord of War. A nice. Almost reset there, potato thing, grabbing it here. Maybe going for the shot here, lovely fake, and then finishing it with the shot. Uh, amazing here, as we just see him coming onto the pitch into this second game, after he wasn't here for the first one, subbing on for uh, his teammate, and he's certainly showing why he is here. Yeah, some very nice passing from Sin there, giving <clears throat> five balls a jazz advantage. Let's see what they'll do. Uh, gonna pass it to the left tunnel to the walls, gonna pass it, oh, Quite slow, unfortunately, going to be picked up by Lord Ball, who's going to get stunned out, and it's going to be picked up again by Gradu. I'm still not sure how to pronounce that name. Up to VR, he's going to be floating it down to the Pac-Man. He's going to reset it to Double Diamond, and now Tom is going to be uh, floating it up. He's going to pass across, but a oh, awkward bounce off shield. He's picked up by VR, though. Still hoping this offense attack. He's going to pass up to the shield, but the shield's going to get stunned. Jack Knives going to pick it and clear it down through the right tunnel. Yes, we just see it here, sent towards the Fireball's bubble. Dangerous spot for them as West gets it first. He sends it in for a lovely two. It was even there, so just pulling them out ahead a little bit. Not much, though, as there still is a lot of room for change in what ultimately is six minutes as we see Fireball's going towards the joust advantage here. Uh, I wonder what we'll see from them. Maybe some aggressive play, maybe some defensive play. Uh, as we see them come out here, grabbing it by Tomic. Two of the players not quite out yet. But that stack allowed them to get straight to that disc. Unfortunately, a missed pass there as Lord of War is on the receiver. Goes for the shot, just bouncing it off that top block there, though. Going for the second shot, and that is a double ding for Lord of War. That has got to hurt as the shot goes in again, but off of the head of a defender. Lord of War looking for the receive. He is looking for some redemption here as he needs to get this finish. Sending it over to Potato Thing. Potato Thing walking it up, and there is the finish that was deserved. That was so close there, but Potato Thing, lovely finish there. Yeah, absolutely so unfortunate for Lord of War. First a double ding and then off the head. But a nice passing for him to Potato Thing, who allows the finish. Uh, making a four-point difference here. <clears throat> uh, as we see, five balls on the jazz going to be passing it right. Uh, oh, going to be kind of caught up with West there. He's still going to manage to get the clear down. Unfortunately, going to be intercepted to Jack Knife. He's going to be spinning it around a bit to Potato Thing. Everything's yeah, going to be on the floor, looking for the pass to the pass to Jack Knife. He's going to be pressured from behind. He's going to get stunned by Fresh. He's going to uh, stolen again by Potato Thing, but it's going to be headbutted out by Jack Knife. Potato Thing resets to the station. West is going to take possession here. He's going to be flying up, looking for the pass. Oh, and a nice interception from VR that he clears it down through the left tunnel. <laughs> uh, so nice. Oh, stacks get stunned. The disc is just going to be floating around the blue bubble, allowing. Oh, Tom to just miss the disc there. He's going to receive it though, but allowing Sin to get back on the defense. Yeah, see, Grash is taking it up here, going for the pass over to the left. Missed on the receive though. Let's Lord of War get his hands on it and slap it towards the mid. Uh, both teams going for this here. Received first by Freshy, but slapped out by Potato Thing, I believe that was. Lovely interception. Potato Thing first on this here as he walks it up a little bit. Lovely duke there. Passing it over to the right, but just missed on the receive. 
as we see VR get his hands on this and maybe going for the long clear there. And uh, a couple new people in chat, maybe to support their teams, maybe here just to watch. But I um, hope everyone's day is going well as we go for the shot here, just off the head of someone, I believe that was. Freshy going for the pass there again. Uh, maybe a reset, but just sent back through the mid. A bit wide, but VR, lovely bounce prediction, lovely receive as he just holds it down low here. Walking it up a little bit, taking his time. He knows that the defense is not pushing him. He knows he has time. Lovely pass there. Going for a finish maybe, but just a bit wide as it goes back towards the mid again, but not quite far enough as VR hands on it yet again. Looking for the pass. Pass it down right. Received by Freshy. Freshy back pass straight to VR. VR sending it over to the right by Gracious. Some lovely floor play here. Gracious looking for the pass down, but lovely interception by Jack Knife as he sends it down the middle after that save. Yeah, uh, and a nice, oh, a nice interception. Oh, a headbutt though from Sin. Oh, and a nice stun from Jack. Oh, but just a missed shot. Wow. Oh, and Jack Knife's going to pick up again and then gets the goal. Wow, that was certainly a display of something that I cannot explain. Yeah, I think we just saw the pressure get to potato thing here. His debut for today, as, <laughs> as we just saw him off, uh, trying to fill in this sub role. Maybe a bit of pressure on him as he just missed it. It happens to the best of us, but certainly. Five balls are back on the joust advantage now. Here we see VR passing over. Oh no, VR receiving it on the right, sorry. Sending it back over to the left though. Lovely receive here by Grashus. Grashus walking it up, taking his time. They are down, but they are certainly not rushing yet. VR receiving it there. Still taking his time, looking for this open opportunity maybe. Trying to draw the defense out. That's what he really wants. So he passes it back. Lovely back pass. And that was an amazing passing play there, resulting in a goal from VR. VR to Grashus to VR. That is the one-twos that come with amazing teamwork, and that was very nice. Yeah, some absolutely fabulous one-two players between the two players there, allowing them to get the goal, giving Sin the joust advantage. Can they bring it back like Snarlers almost did? <clears throat> it looks like Jackson Knife's going to take this, going to hold, wait for the push, trying to waste time a bit here. He's going to clear it all the way down, but a nice interception. It's going to pass it to VR. VR's going to take the three-pointer and putting it as a one-goal difference. Wow, this game is getting very close here. Yeah, we just see fireballs showing what will happen if you leave that goal open for a marksman there. Just an absolutely amazing shot, just punishing that open goal. And uh, that is what will happen if Sin leave their goal open. VR, just lovely shot in there. Putting Sin back on the joust advantage, one point in it. The smallest incrementation that could be here. Gracious receiving it, passing it up to VR. Missed received though, but protecting the bounce, passing it over to the middle there. Lovely stun and prediction by Lord of War, but off of Freshy's head. Still managed to receive it though, slapping it down. Sent over to the left as it bounced off that middle geo though. Gracious getting it in his hands. Going for the clear, but lovely intercept by West. Maybe a bit of surprise on there. Lord of War, first hands on it, but VR stole it back. Sending it through the mid. Lovely received there by Tomic. Tomic, maybe going for the shot, but just a bit wide. Goes for the bounce just far left though. Lovely received by Lord of War, slapped through to the middle. Intercepted there, sent it back forwards. Grashus hands on it, looking for the shot maybe, but potato thing, stun and clear there. Is it sent back towards Fireball's half? Oh uh, yeah, as we see a stack race here for it now. Uh, it's going to be picked up by Sin. Lord of War is going to be uh, going to be juking around the floor. Oh, unlucky pass up to Thing, allowed Tom to get the receive and clear it through mid. It was him just going to bounce though into their trap. Uh, as Lord of War receives this again, uh, he's going to be trying to duke it around VR. Going to get the pass up to West, but ooh, West is being pressured and gets the pass down to left boot. Uh, Jack Knife is going to be holding it here on the boat. I'm going to pass it to the pillar. He's going to wait a sec and then shoot into the bottom pocket. Uh, putting a three goal difference between it here. I'm not sure how much time is left, but it's... Sh oh, no, that's round one to uh, to Sin. Yeah, lovely round to Sin there. And that potato thing, just getting some redemption there maybe after that. I don't want to say it was a tragic miss, but it certainly was, as he just uh, pressure got a little bit the best of him. Maybe he was, wasn't exactly where he thought he was. It happens to the best of us, but really getting the redemption shot in there to finish it. Putting them three points ahead, 13 to 10. Very similar to the Scarlet Snarlers score earlier, which was only 13 to 11. And um, it was a very close round. Both teams played very well. The tension was high throughout the entire thing. And in chat, people saying hello to me. Hello, Alpha Wolf. And uh, Bavajor responded with Alpha. Clearly happy to see him in this chat. Good to see uh, the community recognizing each other. That is what we do here. We always look to uh, support each other, be nice to each other. And uh, just a friendly community we try to build here as uh, we watch this very tense match as we go into round two. And uh, what did you think of that round? 
Uh, it a, yeah, it was a very close round. I once again was not expecting it to be so close. Some great passing from Fireballs, considering they're a new team. Very good defense and offense. But unfortunately for, uh, for them, Sin also had really good defense and passing plays. Yeah, definitely. As we see a pause here, a technical timeout, as I think Jack Knife just switching to see what's happening here. And uh, Potato, first game with Sin. Apparently, this is his first game with Sin. So not only was it his debut as substitute today, it is his debut as substitute entirely, according to the chat here. So um, certainly the pressure will be high for him, but he has certainly delivered on a couple of plays here. Uh, maybe a couple of missed opportunities, but he is certainly playing very well. And uh, his shot placements are doing very well for him this match. That lovely low pocket there at the end, certainly showing off his skill, not holding back at all. Yeah, I think Sin were very right to put Potato in here for this match. Because, yeah, as you said, his shot placement was very precise and good. <clears throat> uh, Sin had some very good plays there, and so did Fireballs. Uh, yes, certainly. As we just wait for this unpause here, uh, just everyone in chat, is everyone here from the EU? What time is it for people? Because uh, currently it is almost 8pm for me here, but I understand that we always get a lot of viewers from different regions. Uh, what time is it for people around the world? Because I know for... Uh, Menacing Meji, 9 p.m. here. Bird Boy from EU, Pyro Games, 8 p.m., so similar to us. Uh, Alpha Wolf, now I'm NA West. I certainly know you're not Alpha Wolf. Uh, Newton Dad, our cameraman here, it's almost 2 p.m. Central US for him. Uh, Simply MF, 3 p.m. for me. So we certainly have a lot of different people in here. And it's good to see that everyone's tuning in for this EU match. Uh, good to see that. Uh, these teams will certainly get the recognition from not just EU, but different areas of the world. And uh, Newton Dad, global platform, certainly. That is that is the good thing about Echo VR. Uh, you don't just get match made with people from the EU, you get match made with people from around the globe. And uh, as long as it sometimes is with ping, uh, we certainly enjoy it every now and again. Simply MF, you said 3 p.m. for me and then 2 a.m. for me. I think there's some, some line going on in the chat here now. And uh, Elf Wolf, same, 2am for me here. Some line going on. But, um, yeah, we're just waiting for this unpause here. Uh, yeah, Babadur said he's on Mars. I'm very curious to find out what time it is for him there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, just waiting for the unpause here. I'm not sure quite what's happening, but uh, I'm looking forward to the next round. As, uh, as we saw last round, very close. Some good plays from both teams. <laughs> and simply said, no time on Mars, dude. Okay, so that that settles that. <laughs> and um, I'm just interested, Jerry, what's your favourite type of car? And uh, everyone in chat as well, you can post your answers in chat, but Jerry, what's your favourite type of car? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, an interesting question, but um, I'm not sure. I'm not very, I think I have to go with a Honda Civic 2008. <laughs> of all the cars, a Honda Civic 2008. Fair enough, Birdie Boy, Rally Car, but we do see the unpause here, I believe, I just heard. But obviously, we do still have that little waiting time in between rounds. Uh, the one that you have to push, says Baba Jaw. I, that's not my favorite, uh, if I'm honest with you. Pushing isn't really my style. Alpha Wolf, Nissan Micra, Baba Jaw, PLP50. We have some boring people in chat. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> I'm obviously joking, but uh, I would certainly go for, you know, like a Lamborghini, an interesting car, like a, a sports car. And uh, Pyro Games said, this game decides if we hit diamond for fireballs. Yeah, so tensions are high here. But uh, we just see the start here as both teams go towards the disc. Neither team really winning it here as it's sent towards the mid. But the back stack for uh, Sin managing to get their first potato thing, just holding it. Actually, no, that will be West. They've just done me there, but Jack Knight managing to get that receive off that amazing pass, the precision on that. Lovely pass again there as he goes for the shot in off of the head there, potato thing. Very nice precision. Unlucky for Tomic there, is it just bounced in off of his head. Mm. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, that looked pretty calculated from Potato. Got the right placement to bounce it off his head. Uh, okay, as we see, uh, <clears throat> Bibles on the jazz advantage. I see what they do. Um, they're going to pass it to the right of VR. VR's ooh, just going to uh, get past the guy. Uh, he's going to pass it. Very nice pass across. Uh, he's going to be holding up now. Oh, a shot of shield. A calculated pass, I might add. Unfortunate receive, though. 
uh, Tomic's going to receive it. Oh, uh, a bit of confusion. Who's going to grab it here? VR's going to miss the receive. Uh, Lang Wester, but slap it up to the ceiling. Jack Knife just missing the receive there as well. Uh, Lang Five will take this and pass it back. And an interesting clear for an unfortunate receive from VR. Going to be putting it into around the bubble. Uh, as we see Sin winning the joust race here, who's just going to slowly waste a bit of time and put it in now. Uh, yeah, lovely stacks from Sin there, just very quick. No, Woodsy, you're correct at commentating, Goat. Thank you, Apple, for chat. Here's off to watch the Envy versus Clockwork match, which is obviously another match that the uh, venue lot are bringing to you today. That is a very big match, but uh, I would certainly appreciate it if you stayed here. Uh, but obviously, you have your own decision, as uh, we see Fireballs put on Joust Advantage here. Lovely pass over to Grash on the receive maybe or maybe just a calculated lead for freshy there vr lovely receive off of that pass just taking his time a little bit to dukes around sending it over to the left towards the middle gracious just walking around a little bit taking his time he's not rushed sending lovely pass over just a bit of a missed receive as that pass was very quick potato going for the clear just off of that block though bounces back to him lovely intercept on that clear by gracious as he just holds it here passing it down the middle but uh, freshy sending it up towards the right vr looking for that shot and in for a lovely two-pointer starting to close this gap that sin built up early on here lovely on there uh, yeah a very lovely receive from gracious there allowing him to pass it and then pass it all the way down to sin's sideline for the nice shot uh, yeah only a two-point difference here sin's got the jazz advantage let's see what they do uh, Jack and I gonna pick it up, gonna hold it. Oh, he's gonna float it down, gonna pass it up to the cloud into the hands of West. West is just gonna hold it. I guess waste a bit of time here as he clears it down mid to potato thing. He's gonna hold it. Uh, he was gonna go for the shot, but they've got a goalie, unfortunately, for him. He's gonna try and juke it around and then go for the shot off the shield, but unfortunately, rebounding back to him and a self pass into the shot and a nice thumb. I think Jack Knife actually managed to grab that off him there at the end. I don't quite know what happened. It looked like a self pass. But certainly a nice recovery there. And um, both teams playing quite well here. Just five of us put on the back pedal a little bit here. But four points is not much. In what ultimately is seven minutes. They are on the joust advantage here. They're playing very aggressively here. Quick pass off to Grashus. Grashus sending it right to VR. VR looking for the open opportunity pass here. And he just jukes around a little bit. Waiting for his team to open up these opportunities. For him to exploit. Sending it over left to Grashus. Grashus quick pass back. VR sending it. Walking towards the goal, looking for the cut pass in there. Lovely receipt by Tomic, and Tomic just walking it in there. Lovely slow plays, but speeding up exactly when they needed to and getting that finish on there with the cut pass. Yes, yeah, some really nice passing between them there. Uh, unfortunately, the goalie tried to go out and intercept it, but wasn't quite fast enough. As we see the gap closing once again with the two-point difference and Sin on the joust advantage. Uh, Jackknife's going to take it, going to be a bit quicker this time to the right tunnel, the right station. It's going to be floating through right tunnel, going to be passing it up to the left. Potato thing having it, he's going to be trying to look for a pass. Oh, unfortunate pass down. But it's going to be put into the hands of West. Uh, by bouncing up, going to be passing back. Oh, an interesting bounce, but a lovely pass back if it was calculated. Lord of War going to be holding possession here at mid. Looks like he's just going to wait for the push. He's going to pass it to the left pack man. Oh, a very quick pass to Jack Knife. Some very fast passing plays here between the teams. Uh, Jack Knife's going to pass it up to the shoulder potato thing. Potato. Oh, a nice steal though from uh, VR, I believe. Oh, unfortunate bounce off the tunnel. Uh, but Grush is going to be able to pick it up and clear it all the way down and make sure it gets down there. Lord of War going to win the stack race here, going to hold possession of it. Uh, the fireball stack is going to be stunned, so Lord of War just seems to be wasting time here. Going to pass it to the left tunnel into the Jack Knife's hands. Jack Knife going for the half court, maybe. Unfortunately, not quite hitting it. Yes, it's just sent here over into the fireball's bubble. Bouncing back out, a stun there on Potato Thing. Lone Grashes to get this disc, sending it up high. Maybe looking for a lucky bounce into the shot there. Or maybe a skilled one, but it's sent towards the uh, Sin bubble. Sin, just looking for this slap out here. But Grashus hands on it first. Lovely bounce prediction. Potato, stunning him there, looking for this anchored clear. Clearing it through. Not quite towards the goal, but it is certainly in Fireball's half. And open there for Sin. If they get it first, Potato certainly got it first. But lovely save there. I think that was a no look. As a lovely pass there. Lovely intercept by Grashus. And that was intense. A very nice quick shot, but a very nice save from Fireballs to end it off there. 
Uh, yeah, and allowing... The oh, just a ding there from VR, allowing uh, Sin to slap it down. Going to be picked up by Gracious, who's going to... Oh, just off the head, it's going to be bouncing in their bubble. Going to be picked up... Oh, by v oh, we're just going to bounce off. Oh, wow, they cannot stop dinging this. Really unfortunate. The Vibles here is a lot of four. Slaps it down, just going to bounce awkwardly. Gracious is going to pick this up and slap it towards the bow tie uh, to VR. He's going to clear it or to pass it to the right below the Pac-Man. Uh, to Gracious, who goes off the shield and puts it into the goal. A nice passing, unfortunate dings though. I mean, three dings here. They are not only bringing us tense action, they are also trying to play us a tune in this match. As we see this game tied up here, six to six, three and a half minutes left. And uh, this is a close one as we see Sin put back on the joust advantage. Jack Knight first on this disc here. As he goes low, lovely stun there by Freshy though. Looking for the back pass, Gracious receiving it. Perhaps looking for that open three-pointer as he sends it in towards, but it's dinged again. They are obsessed with the edge of this goal. Sent back towards Freshy. Freshy looking for the open opportunity, passing it left. Lovely cut pass, but lovely save from Lord of War. And the Sin defense will not break down under the pressure. Tomic getting it here. Looking for the slap shot there from VR, but just missed. Lord of War receiving, looking for this clear, but bounces off of that Geo there, not getting all the way. Freshy back on this disc, clear, passing it right, but lovely intercept from Jackknife, clearing the pressure. Uh, yes, yeah, some really nice defense from Sin there, as we see. Oh, an unfortunate miss from West there. <clears throat> uh, going to be picked up by uh, VR, I believe that is. He's going to clear it to the tunnel. It's going to bounce, going to bounce into their half, going to bounce around into their bubble and see who can win it to the disc. It looks like uh, Fiverr's going to get there first and pull ahead for the first time in this match by two points. I mean, Gracious looking not to ding this one this time. I think uh, he took it in nice and close just so he had no chance there. And just bring their team to a head here. Uh, Baba Jorin chat round three pog question mark. Uh, Maybe. You might see a round three here as Fireballs. Just putting Sim back on this joust advantage here. Jack Knife pulling off to the right. Not much pressure from the stacks here as he clears it down the middle. West looking for this shot maybe. It's a tight angle. Bounces off of the back wall there. But Potato Thing first on this and in for a lovely three. The Fireballs defense was not ready for that shot. And uh, I don't think Sin were either, but Potato defying all odds in there. Uh, getting it past the goalie, sending them only one point ahead, but it could be the lead to win this now, as uh, we see Fireballs back on the joust advantage. Uh, yeah, a one point difference in this match, very close. Curious to see what Fireballs does with this. It looks like he's going to go for the clear down mid, and uh, received by VR, going to be passing up. Oh, a nice intercept from West though, who's going to be clearing up to the right tunnel, going to be bouncing around mid. Uh, looks like, ooh, uh, VR's going to be stunned by Lord of War, who's going to Receive this. Oh, an unfortunate bounce though, allowing Gracious to be to take it. But a nice stun there. West is going to pick this up, pass it to Jack Knife, who's just going to be floating up the wall. Going to be passing to Shield to Lord of War, who's going to put it in for the nice two, furthering the gap of this game. Sin trying to pull away here, 11 8. But that is still one nice three pointer from Fireballs to send this round to OT and perhaps a round three after that. But they really need to try and step up their game here. Only a minute left as they are put on this joust advantage. Once again, lots of those this match, of course. Tomic sending it left. Grash is looking for this pass now, sending it straight over to Freshy. Freshy, quick pass to VR. VR looking for this open shot, and is it going in? It is just wide there. Lord of War looking for this open clear, sending it towards the left, but lovely intercept by VR. An amazing read. Stack on him, though. He has to look for this pass. Lovely pass there. As he goes for the three, but is just slightly inwards. That is a two from Fireball. Still that one-point lead from Sin. It is too close. Yeah, a very close match here. One point difference, not much time left. I'm very excited to see what Fireballs can do with it here. Uh, looks like Sin's going to have the Joust advantage, though, so I'm not sure how much they really can. Uh, looks like Jackknife's going to pick it up. Looks like he's just going to waste as much time as possible. Uh, passing up to West. West is just going to clear it down to mid to potato thing. He's just going to hold it. He's going to keep it in his possession, try and juke around them to give him as little time as possible. He'll be passing back up to Lord of War. He's going to clear it up to the ceiling, up to the trench. Going to be bouncing off the nest. I believe we're out of mathematical time for them to come back from this. Uh, and round two goes to Sin, and that will be game. That is another game for Sin there. They have won four rounds today, lost none, as they have won both their matches today. A lovely double header from them bringing us some intense action here and i hope you all enjoyed it in chat pyro games buckling under the pressure there in chat as he said oh my god this is so close and it certainly was that was a spectacular game and honestly i thought we were going to see a round three there 
but Sin just finding their footing at the last minute. And uh, only, what was it, a one point lead in the end there? It was ridiculously close. But thank you to all three teams playing today Fireball, Sin, and Scarlet Snarlers. Good luck in the future. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone in chat for being here, for staying instead of venues, because uh, this is obviously a very entertaining cast as well. And I hope you all enjoyed it in the chat. I'd like to say thank you to our cameraman, Newton Dad, and thank you to the amazing uh, co caster, Hi, I'm Big Jerry. Do you have anything to say before I sign off? Uh, I just want I just want to say how intense and close that match was. It was an absolute honour to watch and cast that for you, everyone. There we go. There we have it. That is the end of this for today. Hopefully, we'll bring you some more in the future. And wherever you are, have a good day. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net.